fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with an unboxing. I have a couple of Make Market kits that I bought and I wanted to open them and kind of see what they're like. I've heard a lot about them but I hadn't tried them myself and so I wanted to get a couple of them and see what they were like. So I got a couple of different ones. I got a larger one and then I got a smaller one and I'm gonna unbox them and we're gonna see what's what. This one is the diamonds one, or dolphins one, the diamonds one, the dolphins one, and it is only eight by eight or 20 by 20, so it is not a very big kit at all. And it is a round kit, but it is a full drill kit. So it says in here you get your canvas, your diamonds, your pen, a scrunchie, a tray, wax, and the instructions. So we'll see what these are like. I wondered since you could get them at Michael's if they were a an, another version of diamond dots. I've heard that from some people, but then I've had other people say that's not necessarily true. So I'm not really sure, but I wanted to get them and see what they were like. And I figured they're pretty inexpensive this the small one was i think 17 dollars, and the larger one was 30 something 32 somewhere in there so let me get this rolled the other way i'm assuming this is poured glue i don't even know if i that maybe i shouldn't have done that no it looks like poured glue okay it does feel the canvas is quite a bit stiffer it does feel like a diamond dots canvas i will say that it is less of the soft lint and more like a canvas type material. So we get what in the kit here. We get our instructions in French and our instructions in English. I won't need those. We do get a tool kit and our drills along with the diamond painting. So let's see what's in the tool kit here. If we get anything that it didn't say, Okay, so we get our diamond painting pen and the scrunchie. We do get just a regular tray and then we get, oh, it tells you to peel off the cover for the wax. That's good for those of you who didn't know that. And how many pieces are in here? Three? No, just two. So two pieces of wax in here. And then we get a bag of baggies, which I'm assuming is so you can open your drills and put them in there, but I never use baggies, so. Pretty basic tool kit, no extra tips or anything. So just a pretty basic tool kit, which is fine. Now I am noticing there's no information on this kit. There's no logo for Make Market. There's no artist name or copyright or anything like you would get with Diamond Dots. So basically all of the symbols just go down the alphabet. So that's interesting. B and R, okay, so B is red and R is black, so that's good. D and C are not the same. Are there any Bs and Ds next to each other? I mean, it looks like the canvas is pretty easy to see all the symbols. Let me bring it up a little bit closer for you guys. So you can see here, all of the symbols are nice and clear. It does look like a Diamond Dots kit. I will give it that. This is kind of what the symbols look like on a Diamond Dots, but it's full drill rather than a partial. So that's interesting. We have 28 colors, no DMC codes, which I had heard that, but even if it was a Diamond Dots, you would get the Diamond Dots code and not the DMC codes. I don't know how much difference that makes necessarily. So the box, because the numbers aren't on the canvas, the box said eight by eight or 20 by 20. So let's measure and see how accurate that is. So if I measure from the line, a little over, but if I measure from just the drill field, it's right at 20 and right at 20 if I just measure the drill field. And that is a little less than eight inches, like eight and seven eighths, something like that. If you measured from where they have the little cutout line, yeah, it's a little over eight. So if you were gonna frame it, you could cut along the little black line here and you'd still have a little bit of overhang where the drills are not. It is nice and sticky. And it's just a cute little canvas. I thought this would be a very nice, quick project in between. I'm working on some very large projects and so I thought maybe this would be something good 
for me to do in between. If I can find a link for this, I will stick it and the other kit as well down below. I actually went into the store and purchased these because I kind of wanted to see what their selection was like. I had to go to the big city near us, which is a fairly big city, but there's only two Michaels and we went to the one nearest us. And I will say they didn't have a ton of selection. I want to say they had maybe 15 or so kits. Maybe that is a huge selection for them, but you know, versus shopping online. So if you're shopping online, maybe you could get more. So let's look at our drills. Okay, so we've got two sleeves of drills, it looks like, and they just, there's no DMC code on the bags either. So yeah, they're just all numbered. So we've got black, we've got like a blush pink, a peach, kind of a chocolate brown, a yellow, kind of a pale turquoise, a green. Then we get two, sh three shades of yellow. We've got a yellow, a pale yellow, and then like a golden yellow. We get another kind of peaky, pinky peach, a pale blue, a brown, two different shades of turquoise, like a slate turquoise and then a true turquoise, a very pale pink, a dark blue, two different shades of sea green. Those are very, very close together. That's almost hard to tell them apart. This one is slightly darker. And then a blue. And then in this shorter sleeve, we have another pale yellow, a peach, another kind of slate turquoise blue, a mauve, a dark blue, kind of a bright electric blue, a sea green, and then a white. So I find it interesting that they don't have any DMC codes at all. That seems kind of strange. So I guess if you wanted to save your drills, you could and just kind of match them up by eyeball. I probably won't do that because I just don't memorize all the colors. You know, if it was something I thought was pretty easy to do, like the black or white or something like that, then maybe it'd be worth saving. Kind of curious to see what the drill quality is as well once I get started with them, so we'll see. All right, so that's this one. Let me get all of this stuff put away and I will be right back with the larger one. This canvas is a slightly larger one, as you can see. This one is called the Coliseum. I don't know when I'll get to this one. So we get the same kind of thing. We've got another set of instructions here. We've got our drills and we've got our toolkit. So it looks like the same thing in the toolkit. We've got our boat, plates of wax, our pen with the scrunchie, and then some extra baggies. And of course, we've got our bag of drills. Again, it doesn't look like there's any DMC codes on these. So let me grab the canvas. Okay, so for this one, I can't quite get all of it on screen, but so hopefully you can see most of that. It does have a schematic on both sides, just like the other one. Although like the other one, it also does not have DMC codes. It goes through the entire alphabet and then we get to other various symbols. This one has 36 colors. And as you can see, it is a picture of the Colosseum in Rome. I figured this is probably as close as I'm ever gonna get. <laughs> so that's my dream trip to travel to Greece and see a lot of the ancient artifacts and stuff to be able to go to Rome and see some of these things. Anyway, I wanted to see what the smaller one, the dolphins would be like, and then kind of put that against one of the bigger ones and see, you know, what the level of detail would be like, what it would look like when it was finished and all of that. This one, again, does not have sizes on it on the canvas, but it does say on the box that it is 20 by 30 or 50.8 50, 50 by 76.2, so roughly, 50 by 73, something like that. So let's measure and see what it measures out to. So again, I'm going to the actual drill field. This is 75 and a half for the drill field by 50, a little over 50 going by the drill field. So pretty accurate there. And what did it say? 20 by 30. So if I measure that in inches, it is not 30 from the drill field, but if I go from the lines, it is 30. From the lines, it is 20, but of course less than that, about 19 and three quarters, if I don't include the black lines around the edge. 
I will, I think the dolphins you could see clearly enough, but because this one is so big, I will get some extra footage of this so that you can kind of see it close up without all of the glare necessarily. So 36 colors, no DMC codes. It is nice and sticky, just like the other kit. So it is poured glue. The cover sheet is nice and thick. I will give them that. It's probably a little thicker than Diamond Art Club, but not as thick as you would get with Oraloa. All right, let's look at our drills. Lots of drills in this one and lots of darker colors compared to some of the lighter colors in the other one. So let's see what we get. So we get a dark gray, kind of a milk chocolate brown, a dark slate blue, a dark mauve, then two bags of this very dark brown, a kind of light brown and then a very pale tan, a very dark blue. We get two shades of green, a dark green and then like a hunter green. We get a slate blue, another tan. We get, is that all three? Three bags. So all three of these are bags of the same brown. We get another very dark blue. Is that two different shades? No, those are both the same. Another shade of brown and a light yellow. We've got a small sleeve here of a pale yellow, two bags of this kind of peachy yellow, and then another slightly lighter brown. And for our last sleeve here, we've got like a kind of a pale gray blue, another kind of slate blue, two bags of this like navy blue, a very dark blue again, a butterscotch, and then we've got a dark gray, and then are these all the same? So we get two bags of this kind of dark butterscotch, two bags of another butterscotch, and then one bag of this light butterscotch. Another lighter gray, a blue, a green, a brown, kind of a pale sage green, a pale tan, and then two different shades of yellow, a golden yellow and a yellow. So a lot of dark colors in this one. There are some light colors in the sky, obviously, where you can kind of see the sun peeking through, but then the building itself, a lot of the background, and of course all the greenery and everything in front of the building is all darker colors. So yeah, really curious to see how these are gonna work out. Like I said, I'm just kind of wanted to see how they work. They're a little less expensive than the diamond dots. It does look a lot like a diamond dots from the symbols that they use, the way the canvas is laid out, the canvas itself, the drill field, you know, all of that looks very similar to diamond dots. Now it does say on the back that it the they're made in China, obviously, but by Michael Stores Procurement Company Incorporated. So I don't know if that's another subsidiary of Diamond Dots, because Diamond Dots also does the leisure art, and I think there's another, another subsidiary of Diamond Dots too, but they're all kind of the same parent company. I mean, for all we know, these are all coming from the all the same company in China, what do I know? But I'm, I'm curious to see how this one is gonna work out. Like I said, I probably will save the larger kit for next year, but I wanted to unbox them and kind of see what they were like. I know I'm gonna be doing some bigger canvases through the end of the year, and so I thought, well, especially since this one is so small, I would just get it out and maybe I would have this as a little uh, palette cleanser in between some of my other big projects because I'm doing the big craftably, I'm doing a big Oraloa, I'm gonna be doing another big Diamond Art Club. I just needed something that was kind of a palette cleanser. So hopefully this, this little dolphin one will be it for me and then we'll see. You know, because of the size of this one, I'm not expecting it to be too much detail, but once I get done with this one, I can kind of see how I feel about the drills themselves and everything. And then once I tackle the bigger one to kind of see how it works out with all the shading and everything. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.